Good morning, Grass Elementary. This is Anthony Borosevich. And I'm Lily Goppel with your Bodog broadcast. Today is... Tuesday, September 26th. Today is day four of our special subject schedule. Happy birthday to... Samir Ford. Zymir, we hope, we hope you all have a great birthday weekend. Today is Johnny Appleseed Day. Kindergarten is doing an apple cider tasting event. That sounds yummy and so fun. Third graders are learning about the Eastern Woodland Native American. Get ready at, to get ready for their trip to the Churchville Nature Center next Thursday. They are very excited. Friday, September 29th is Picture Day. We have a visiting author for 4th and 5th grade on Wednesday, October 18th. A form was sent home via Suisse. If you are interested in ordering books to be signed, orders are due October 2nd. We have a few new faces here at Grass. Let's go to Braxton to learn more about our new office admin, Mrs. Savage. This is Braxton Bennett here with Miss Savage, our new office admin. Um, what? Where do you work? Did you, where did you work before grass? I worked for the county of Bucks. My last position there, I was the business manager for Nishamini Manor, and that was a nursing home. So you used to nurse your kids? No, actually it's for older people. So it was a home where the older people would live. My great grandma used to work at one of those. Uh, well, no, she didn't work there. She was one of the old people there. And she sadly passed away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it's a wonderful place to work. There was a lot of great people. Okay. Uh, do you have kids? I have two sons. One is 29 and the other is 30. And they both went through the Penridge school system. They did? Did they go? What school did they go to? They went to Dibler Elementary. Then they went, one of them went to North. The other went to Central. And then they both graduated from Penridge High School. Uh, well... Do they have names? <laughs> they absolutely have <laughs> names. Zachary is my oldest son, and Austin is my youngest. Okay. Um, do you have pets? I used to. I used to have a cat and a dog. Right now, no pets. Maybe in the future. I have about three pets. One of four. I have Mark is my bearded dragon. Noodle is my axolotl, and Kirby is my uh, leopard gecko. And then I have a snail for Noodle. Which I have name no is idea what an axonoodle is. You're going to have to show me a picture of that. I will, okay. eventually. Well, what do you like to do outside of work? So I play pickleball with friends, or I like to go on long walks, or just go out and have dinner with friends and be outside in nature. Mm, I do that sometimes. Like I go outside with my friends. One time I had a sleepover with my friends. And basically, when I have when I have friends, I feel like they always have my back, no matter what, and I have theirs. You know what? You're very lucky. That's what friendship's about. What is your favorite food? My favorite food. I love seafood. You so do? scallops, crabs, any type of fish, salmon. Um, one time I um tried something that probably barely anybody knows. It's called um. It's in my dad's religion uh it is well it's not like a different religion but he ha he eats like um it's called oxtail okay. like it's an actual cow's tail I, I tried heard it of that what did you think it was good yeah so mm -hmm. would you have it again yeah, yeah I had it about two times because I don't really get to, last time I ate it was Thanksgiving okay so maybe this Thanksgiving it's coming up pretty soon mm -hmm. what is your favorite color what do you think my favorite color is blue pink it is. Yeah. My, I feel like most girls' favorite color is pink, but my mom's favorite is black. Really? Okay. Yeah. Which I don't argue with because it is a good color, but my favorite color is probably um, probably either blue or purple because if, if you mix them together, they um become a galaxy, basically. Really? They do. They're both in the color of the rainbow, I think. Yes. You have both. It's like an indigo, I think. Mm -hmm. um, what do you like the best about grass already? Already is the people, everyone, the teachers, the students. And you know why? Because mm -hmm. everyone is so upbeat and friendly and supportive of one another. Yeah, because I, I've been here ever since kindergarten, and I knew everybody. 
So I'm basically friends with this entire school. Because you're a fifth grader now, right? Mm -hmm. That's so exciting. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and welcome to Grass. Now you, now back to our main studio. Thank you, Braxton. Welcome to Grass. Let's go to Mrs. Poord now for a daily message. Grass Bulldogs, are you fabulous? Yes, yes Mrs. Poord, Poord. We, we are, are fabulous. fabulous. We certainly are fabulous today and every day. Good morning, Grass Elementary. This is Anthony Barasevich. And I'm Emily Gopple with your Bulldog broadcast. Today is Tuesday, September 26th. Today is day four of our special subject schedule. Happy birthday to Samir Ford. Zymir, we hope we hope you all have a great birthday weekend. Today is Johnny Appleseed Day. Kindergarten is doing an apple cider tasting event. That sounds yummy and so fun. Third graders are learning about the Eastern Woodland Native American. Get ready at, to get ready for their trip to the Churchville Nature Center next Thursday. They are very excited. Friday, September 29th is Picture Day. We have a visiting author for 4th and 5th grade on Wednesday, October 18th. A form was sent home via Suisse. If you are interested in ordering books to be signed, orders are due October 2nd. We have a few new faces here at Grass. Let's go to Braxton to learn more about our new office admin, Mrs. Savage. Welcome to Grass. Let's go to Mrs. Poord now for a daily message. We, we are, are fabulous. fabulous. We hope you enjoyed this edition of the World Broadcast. We show our best kids' behavior in the classroom, in the bistro, on the playground, on the bus, and at home. I saw the work parts make this a cares kind of day because Bulldog always cares. Have a great cares day, Grass Elementary, because of J.M. Grass, we shine, shine from, from within. within.